Good morning. Um, so today I wanted to, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of give, um, film a bit of a morning of my life. So or a morning routine, incorporate what that looks like. And I thought I would segment out like more clips to throughout the week to put together one vlog. So, but I wanted to show a quick get ready with me before my work day starts. Um, so today I'm actually going to um, to work at the office and typically I work from home, like I said, but I'm starting to go to the office now to switch it up because most of most people in my team have been returning to office full time now. So um, but this office that's near me. They're not um, my colleagues. My colleagues are based in a different city. And anyways, so this, I just applied on Milk um, Grip Primer. Really, really good. And it's, I've had it for so long and it's still, it's lasting me a long time. And then I'm applying Nars Foundation. I wear um, the color Manaus. Man, man, so, Man Manaus, Manaus, um, Mana <laughs> Manaus, I think it's called. And I think the number for it is like D1. So I think it looks really good. Light coverage because I don't want to be doing much um, for a work day. Yep. And then. Um, I am now gonna apply, I'm trying to do this in like 10 minutes or less type of get ready. Um, so I have to hurry up and leave soon. Um, but I thought I would show you kind of like a simple look so I damp the sponge just a tiny bit so I can blend out my so I've already worked out this morning um, I don't know if I'll include a clip here I mean before this of that but yeah, so far I've already worked out and I helped get my daughter ready for school. Um, she goes to daycare. And now, while her dad's dropping her off, I'm trying to finish getting my cell together. Um, So a lot of times with like my makeup, I really like to do a less is more approach because we really just, I think like, especially if I'm not going anywhere crazy, I think like reading the room, <laughs> where are you going that you need like, you know, <laughs> a whole lot of thing for so like, kind of like your settings this is more like an everyday type of look that I can do to look put together then just do like a face powder like I have this like MAC fix uh, studio fix powder and um, color NW46 and it's kind of like a foundation base powder so it's really there's a lot of coverage from that and sometimes I'll just just do the, just that and then my brows a little bit of mascara and I'm good to go um, depending on like where I'm going but um, yeah 
now for my favorite part, which is blush. I have um, Fenty Mocha. Yeah, so I have Fenty Mocha Mommy. And I feel like it goes so well with like my skin tone. If you have a similar complexion as me, like this is this is a, this is your your vibe. Like this, if you have a similar complexion as me, you need to get this. So I just put it all around like this. So today I was supposed to go return some stuff, to the post office. I don't know if I'll have time for that. Okay. And what I'll do too is like I'll add some of the blush, the Mokamami on top of my eyelids. Then, I'm just gonna do the mascara. I still have to pack my lunch for today. I got my brows microbladed not too long ago, so we don't really need much. Um, yeah, just putting this on to keep them together. Look less messy. And then the last bit is some highlighter and here too really not trying to do much um, put you in this brush here for so long um, okay just a little bit here Makeup setting spray, hydro grip set to refresh spray. Great. So now while that's setting, I need to do my hair. and get my lunch ready and let's see I'm running really behind to get to the office um, so yeah I need to hurry up so last night I ended up ordering um, an iPad for my daughter because we are going on a trip and while we're traveling with her she's gonna stay at like she's going to Florida and so while we're there, she's there um, to have some form of entertainment. So this is like 
I'm saying this is strictly for traveling. But. getting this I think the original price was 160 and ended up getting it for 74 but um, the 32 gigabyte HD 8 kids well specifically for younger kids because I think there's like um, 3 to 7 or no, yeah, three to seven or six to twelve, something like that. Oh, this is like a great size for her to actually be able to hold it. Okay, so so before I leave, I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, so I have this like blouse, black blouse, and this navy striped pants. So this is all the way back how that looks. And they have like this like ruffle detail at the waist that I really like. Uh -oh. And also the slides that I'm wearing are from the Target haul that I shared on my uh, one of my recent videos. And yeah, so the bag that I have with me is a base dupe. Um, so this is actually from Amazon. And it's like a perfect size. Like it has, I have two laptops in here right now and like a toiletry bag and like a bunch of stuff. And my, my drinks, all that type of stuff. And it's still, um, there's still so much room. So, although it is getting heavy, but um, there's still a lot of room for things. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to take some clips while I'm at work. But um, if not, thank you for sticking around. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, please be sure to subscribe. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'd also like to say thank you to all the positive feedback I've received on my um, recent videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I love the community that we're building here and I think this is why I wanted to start YouTube is to have like-minded people um that i can share all these things with and be able to converse with and engage with in the comments so um thank you so much for your support and for everyone who has subscribed so far thank you so much um and i hope you stick around and more of you start to roll in so we can build this community and this i filmed um some clips yesterday of my day because i was i had a office day yesterday and today I'm working from home and so this is kind of like what I have put together <laughs> back up so just like some um, biker shorts and this uh, button down sweater because I did have to hop on camera for um, a meeting so kind of like look reasonable at the top <laughs> and casual at the bottom so well, this is all casual anyways but um anyways yeah so i wanted to start today and talk about um some home updates that we have uh, some errands that i want to take you guys to, uh, along with um i plan on going to old navy and there is a home goods right near it and i, I can't help myself but to stop by so <laughs> we'll go see what's in there um I'm hoping they have Christmas stuff because to be honest, I'm already like, I've been in a Christmas mood since September, <laughs> beginning of September. A lot of people are like, oh, decorate me, fall videos. I'm like, I'm buying Christmas stuff right now. Like, cause last year, um, I moved in my house a little like mid October and um you know getting like getting settled into the house moving all that type of stuff I had my mind very preoccupied so i didn't buy christmas stuff till like late november um and i felt like i was behind all the things that i wanted were sold out and i didn't i just really went with what i could find and just like made it work but now this year i feel like i can actually truly 
get the vibe that I want. And um, I also didn't decorate the exterior of my house last year and I want to do that this year. And um, in a minute too, I'm going to have um, my husband will be, I'll show you the home update that we have. I don't want to spoil it yet. So um, yeah, so I think my, and I'm going to need my husband's help with that and he's going to be working on it this afternoon um, if his schedule allows. So um, I'll like give a, I'll insert some clips of that or I'm going to start talking to you guys again when he's ready to do that. I also wanted to give an update on the water dispenser that I talked about last vlog. And uh, so that vlog, like I think it was the next day, the plumber was supposed to come to connect the water hose to that and tell me why this man didn't show up. I'm like, <laughs> I'll be here waiting and I'm like, and he doesn't show up. And I follow up like casually, like not highlighting that he like didn't show. And I'm like, oh, okay, so, you know, I asked him, when is he going to come back? And he said, you know, give me a, a window of time and still didn't show up. So now I need to find a different plumber. And the project is basically on hold until we find, get this plumber situation um, done with. And yeah, but regardless though, I think like I have, um, other stuff going on that is like it's whatever because um i'm traveling in a few days to work for a work trip i mean and i wanted to start um kind of like take you along on that journey too because you know to show you guys like what um i would essentially pack for like an actual corporate work trip and um showing you guys a different city and a little bit of my day like on the go working um as a corporate professional i'm gonna pop open the camera in a bit when i have more and but when it's a yeah so i'll i'll talk to you guys soon hey guys so i'm picking up the camera from where i left off and we have a home update and this home update is to add a new door lock to our home and this door lock is a smart lock meaning um, it can be opened with your apple watch your phone it has key fobs that you can use and just actual keys i also opted to add a um, keypad and this is not necessary but i just wanted to have that um, because let's say that I'm away on vacation or something and there's a package I can create a temporary key and give that to my neighbor and they'll they can access my home and drop off my package for me so um, I just wanted to have this as well which is also not necessary so let's open the let's open the lock oh and this key this lock is from this company called level lock and I'll link it down below but the um, really nice thing about it is that it doesn't really look like a smart lock. It looks like an ordinary lock that you just like purchase from Home Depot. So you can see from the packaging, it came with um, this informational little template here. And these are the fobs. Okay. And so the fobs, they look like hotel keys, which is really nice. And so this is the lock itself. So it's very minimal and sleek in design, which I love. And the color black goes well with um, what I already had here. Uh, all of the doors in my home are black hardware uh, because when we were building it, I specified that with the builder to add black hardware in all the doors. So the fact that this is black was perfect um, to blend well with everything else. So I'm gonna also unbox the keypad. Oh. oh, it's really small. It's not as bulky as I, I thought it would be. So that's really nice. Um, and it would also go well with my siding of my home um, because it is white. So 
I think it's it's fairly minimal too. So I'm going to show you guys clips of it being installed and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, so I wanted to give an update on um, on the doorbell and it's now installed and, uh, and it doesn't even look like it's a smart um, lock. It just blends seamlessly with what I had there already. So I'll show you guys that. So this is on the inside, what that looks like. So just this is it and it looks like an, any normal lock and then and the outside also looks like a normal lock, um, but you can open it with your but you can open it with your Apple Watch, um, the key fob that looks like a hotel key, and your um, phone and a, the, the regular lock as well. So I think it's really great, um, very minimal, and I would definitely recommend it. So I'll link that below in the description. So I finally made it to Home Goods, and the way that the store is full of the way that the store is full of Christmas stuff right now is actually crazy. But um, the home decor section has a few things that's nice. Um, so let me show you a few things. This the side table here is really cute, um, but I'm like for the price point, I don't know. I feel like that's a bit much. One twenty. This, oh, it's hard to see it, but like the fabric on the shade is so pretty. I really like that. And then you have the Christmas stuff everywhere. <laughs> Literally. Um, honestly, I don't mind it because I was already shopping for Christmas and have purchased a few things. So I'm already in the Christmas spirit too. So I wanted to show this cutting board, um, it has a pedestal, I think that's so cute, like if you want to do a charcuterie board, and this one too, I actually think this one is nicer. So you see the shape of that, oh. honestly it's really heavy. But I love the shape and the pedestal. Even this one is like interesting. So these vases here actually I have in my entryway. Like well something similar to this. Like those kind of like asymmetric shape. And they're so well priced here, and like there's another one down here. See this in the back? That's so pretty. 
actually would love that. Um, let me see how much they are. Because you'll find them online on Amazon and like other stores. And they're like 60 something dollars or $70. And then here, you see, this is so beautiful. Um, $19. Well, 20 bucks. So, for $20. these back <laughs> okay okay so for twenty dollars that's just a steal compared to like online you'll find it for this one is 15 yeah I would take that one though yeah so oh here it is in this blue color I think, oh no, they don't have it um, in this color, but I think these glass vases, like I said, um, I got mine here too for a good price, and I saw a few online that were way more money. Hey guys, so I just got home from Old Navy and Home Goods, and I think I'll share, um, probably share the clips of Home Goods before this. There weren't that many good home decor items that I could show, but um, I think I'm gonna start showing you some of the things that I've been buying for Christmas because I noticed that the store was like pretty much full of Christmas stuff, and I've definitely been in the Christmas spirit. So I picked, I picked up some wine on the way home. Um, I picked up some wine on the way home that I'm now going to open, and this is um, just a red blend, so this is how I'm going to unwind for the rest of the day. I am about to have dinner, and it's nothing special, um, it's really a salad from Chick-fil-A, so um, Great thing is that my daughter's already down for her bedtime. Ooh. I have these glasses from from Home Goods, and they're like similar to. I've seen them on Amazon and I've seen them, well I had, originally I had the ones that were from Crate and Barrel and I'll show you what that looks like, but the ones from Crate and Barrel were breaking left and right, like it was, so this is really, so this one is, this one is the one from Crate and Barrel and this one is from Home Goods. And so this one, it's a little bit taller, but not by much, and this one is a little bit wider. And I would say the stems of this. So with the one from Crate and Barrel, the stem here, the stem here is thinner and longer. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely longer. So it's thinner and longer. This one is like much thicker. Even just the glass up here too is just so you can see, it's really. It's much thicker than this, and this is more, um, this is really thin and lightweight, and while this is really heavy. So I would say I picked this up because it's more durable, but when it comes to like aesthetically pleasing and what looks more high-end, I would say the thinner one, um, it just, it looks better in my opinion, so. Um, but if you're tired of like replacing them because they keep breaking left and right, these um, will do you well. In the pack, um, I think there were six or eight of them in the pack, and I definitely poured too much. <laughs> and I bought it for fifty dollars for for that. So I thought that was a really good price compared to what um, it's being sold as. That was quite the pour for your followers. I know, because I, I was distracted talking. <laughs> Yeah, that was, 
<laughs> I was definitely a distracted talker and poured so much wine, but um, I'm going to give some to my husband. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think the for a set of eight, it was $50, and I think that was a really good price. So tonight, after we have our dinner, I'm going to try this apple... Apple, um, is it apple crisp? It's called apple apple blossom, and it looks like a turnover. I don't know, but it's from Trader Joe's, and I recently tried to bake apple crisp or yeah, apple crisp, and it was so bad. <laughs> it turned out so bad, but we'll see if these are any good. It was missing a lot. Um, so the apple pie, is that apple pies? I think it was. Apple pies just got done. It's so late. It's like almost 10 and we're now about to eat it, but it looks so good. Um, my husband just took a bite before I could record, um, Whoopsie. record it. <laughs> yeah, let me show you what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's right. Okay. Better. Um, yeah, so it's very crispy and delicious. And I'm going to have it with... Um, so, yeah, it's very crispy and delicious. I'm going to have it with butter pecan ice cream. And some whipped cream. So, yeah, that is my night. Thank you guys for sticking with me and following along oh the woman's answer about um living in charlotte also um uh, before i wrap up i want to say that i'm i want to do a q a soon if you have any questions that you want me to answer feel free to leave them in the comment below i'll be looking at those and I'll create a separate video answering all your questions so so feel free to leave all your questions in the comment below and um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.